SAS Rogue Heroes has been airing on BBC One and the historical drama was inspired by the real-life war heroes who risked everything to defeat their enemies. The much-loved drama follows David Sterling, played by Connor Swindles, and his team as they try to convince their superiors a new special forces unit is the key to winning the war. Express.co.uk has all you need to know about where the series was filmed. Where was SAS Rogue Heroes filmed? SAS Rogue Heroes was created by Peaky Blinders boss Stephen Knight and it has gone down a huge hit on the BBC. In the series, David Sterling was convinced that a small team of highly trained soldiers could attack several targets from the desert in a single night, thanks to the advantage of surprise. From the very first episode, viewers saw how David tried and tested all sorts of risky operations as he was keen to prove his idea would be successful. He and Jock Lewis Alfie Allen, attempted to jump out of a helicopter in the middle of the desert using parachutes. The series was filmed in the desert in Morocco, as well as locations in Norfolk and Suffolk in the UK. As the series is set in 1940s Cairo, the cast and crew spent three months filming in a Moroccan desert. Director Tom Shanklin said one of the biggest challenges of filming in the sandy location was the storms. He said, day one we had a sandstorm, day two we had half a sandstorm, day three we had an all-day sandstorm, day four we had a quarter of a day of a sandstorm. We then started to schedule around the possibility of sandstorms. You always try to create an environment where people can do more work. There's just some things that you can't control and you just have to rock and roll with that. Sandstorms we can't do anything about and also we got some great footage of them for the series which were otherwise going to cost us a lot of money in visual effects, and we got that for free. I like to be positive about that. David actor Connor agreed the sandstorms made the series hard to shoot, but it provided a feeling of authenticity. He said, it was so hard to film out there in the Sahara in those conditions, but it brought a real truth to it that you couldn't have cheated in any other circumstance. Dot I feel grateful for that. It is a character in itself and was something we as a crew had to wrestle with. I'm very grateful for how tough it was and I think it will influence our performances and make it that much better. He revealed one of his favorite scenes was the convoy opening shoot from episode 1. This crazy sandstorm blew in which wasn't uncommon, and we were on this incredible salt flat. It was a fantastic moment in my life. Being somewhere that big and feeling so small in the middle of it was really quite special, he said. Even though the front line was not too far away, Cairo was very much the party city during the time of the war. It was famous for its nightlife and it attracted a lot of interesting writers. A lot of soldiers spent time there from all over the Allied powers, from Czechs to Indians, Brits to Aussies. David Sterling was 23 when the Second World War first broke out and he went on to become one of the most influential soldiers in history. SAS Rogue Heroes airs on Sundays on BBC One at 9pm.